Good morning. Well, it was an interesting a little text group yesterday, Ben, that you put on the math group. Anyways, hey, I hope you have a great day today. It is Tuesday, and today for geometry, we're going to look at volume of pyramids and cones. Lord, I pray, God, that you'd bless this time and uh, make it easier for these guys to understand. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little review first. Um, we're going to look at a prism. Remember that um, volume is counting the number of cubes that can fit inside the box. So we always do area base first. So um, that would be 8 times 6 because the bottom is a rectangle. And then we're going to times it by the height which is 10. And so down here, 8 times 6 is 48. And I'm going to multiply it by 10. And that will give me 480. And then it'll be centimeters cubed. So basically it tells me that 48 cubes fit in the bottom. And then I'm going to stack them 10 high, which will give me 480 centimeters cubed. Next one we're going to look at is a cylinder. And on the cylinder, the base is not a rectangle this time. It is a circle. And so the area of the base, I'd have to use pi r squared times h is the height of the whole thing. That always stays the same. So in here, I'm going to have to write um, 3.14 times. Um, this is diameter, so that would be 8. 8 squared would be 64. And so then you go times the height, which would be 12. So 3.14 times 64. I did not do this ahead of time. But it would be around 201, I think. And then you'd multiply that by 12, and then you would get the answer to that, which would be around, oh, I don't know, 24, 13, something like that. That's just close. And then that would be inches, and that would be cubed. So if you did that with a calculator, you'd get a different answer than that. But that's close to the right answer. Okay, so today what's new is we're going to look at a pyramid, and then we're going to look at a cone. Now, a pyramid... If you notice, I made this 8 by 6 by the height is 10. That's exactly the same thing as over here. So if you think about it, the pyramid is just being cut out of the box. So the question is, if you cut that, if you just look at this and cut all the rest of it away, um, how many cubes are left? Well, it ends up that one-third of the cubes is left. So the thing stays the same. The volume equals the area of the base times the height. But what you have to do is you have to divide the whole thing by 3. And that's for a pyramid. And that's the difference between that one and this one. And so we end up with V equals, um, we still do 8 times 6, and we still do times 10, but we have to remember to divide by 3. Boy, do a lot of people forget to divide by 3. But it kind of makes sense, because it's got to be less cubes than that than there is in the whole box right there. So when we do this, we get V equals 48 times 10 is 480, and 480 divided by 3 is 160, and it would be centimeters cubed. Remember that we're counting cubes. Okay, so now let's look at this last one. This one's a cone now, and for a cone, basically what's happening on that is if you take a cylinder and put the center right here, the cone would stick inside and be this part of it here. And the same exact thing gets happened. Two-thirds of it gets cut away and one-third of it's left. So what you have to remember to do in the formula is divide by 3. So we're going to do basically the same thing here. Um, it's going to be pi r squared for the area of the base because the bottom is a circle. So v equals 3.14. The radius would be 8 again, and 8 squared is 64, times 12, all divided by 3. So v equals, it's just going to be a third of this, so be about 800, oh, I don't know, 4? That's, again, that's an approximate. That's not exact. If you do it with a calculator, you're going to get an answer close to that, but it'll be a little bit different. Okay, so here are the things that you're working on today. This is your assignment over here, page 709, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, and 12. I gave you the answers for 2 through 12. Um, I didn't give you the answer for 11 because it's in the back of the book. So fr fr feel free to check and see if you got them right when you did those. So you have six problems to do today. Hope it goes well for you. Have a great day.